Hi, this is not going to be a video for everybody. This is a maintenance video on one of my tools. This is mostly for my benefit, so if it happens again, I've got a video record of what I need to do. There will be a regular project video later in the week. A few months ago, I had an issue with my saw stop um, when the blade was tilted to 45 degrees, and it was really only at 45 degrees that this was an issue. Um, occasionally, when turning the saw off, the belt would come loose and fall on the floor. It didn't seem like a great thing at the time. I contacted Sawstop and within, I think it was two days, they sent out a replacement part. Um, that, that delay was really because I contacted Sawstop America and they had to then cop and contact their um, distributor out here in Australia. So combine that with time zones, I was pretty happy with the response time. Um, so the part that they sent me well, I've seen two parts. One was the uh, capacitor, which I guess goes in there. Uh, and the other was the centrifugal switch, um, which is activated when the saw is turned off and uh, slowing down. Apparently, maybe the one I've got in there was a bit too aggressive, which caused the motor to shut forward a bit, which released a bit of tension and ultimately resulted in the saw being the belt coming loose. It's not particularly dangerous, it's just not particularly convenient when the belt comes off and I have to put it back on. Um, and it's a bit weird. Because I don't want to take the motor completely off, because that's just a pain to put back on, uh, I've tilted it to 45 degrees, which gives me better access to the motor itself, because we're working on this end. I sent through some instructions. The first step is to take off the fan housing. Next up to get this bit off, you need a, well this is the uh, fan assembly, you need a 3mm uh, Allen key, Allen wrench. Uh, so we're going to remove these two Phillips head screws. To position everything um, properly, the saw stop recommend while it's still assembled before you've disassembled it, taking a sharpie and putting a mark so you know where it goes back on. Uh, I'm lining that up with the set screw here which actually keeps the assembly on. Although the instructions don't mention it, they did send out this spare part which looks exactly like this contactor in here. So I'm going to end up replacing this because I've got the replacement part I may as well. I don't know if any of that will have actually helped. The motor seemed to kick back just as much when slowing down, so uh, time will tell. That's how you replace the centrifugal switch in a saw stop contractor saw. <laughs>